I believe that the museum will help educate the rest of the world that the Holocaust was something that happened, it was in the past, and that the future to brighten educationally, culturally, socially, intellectually, professionally, what the Jewish people, particularly of Poland, brought to the rest of the Jewish world. Having been to Poland before Perestroika and seeing the depth of despair that was in Poland, because when you used to come to Poland, all you would do is go to the concentration camps and see and learn all about death and the Holocaust. And what the museum does, and for me personally, what this does, is perpetuate the feeling that the thousand years of history of the Jewish people that began in Poland will be able to continue and show the rest of the world that the Holocaust wasn't the end of everything, but the beginning. Well, in the Bay Area and in Israel, Koret Foundation has concentrated on Jewish peoplehood in a variety of ways, and I think that the museum is just an extension of this on a broader base. Sometimes in life there are things that you feel you need to do, and when you take a step back and really look at it, you realize that not just do you need to do it, but you feel like you want to do it. And together with Toby Philanthropies, the Koret Foundation, is the single largest contributor to the museum. And for that, our board, me personally, and Tad are extremely proud and grateful.